like i said guys i used detergent and hydrogen peroxide to color my hair detergent and hydrogen peroxide to color my hair it's a cheap way to color your hair this is barely um probably like 150 naira and this is just 300 naira everything here is not even up to 500 naira that's about a dollar so imagine i colored my hair with less than a dollar it is very cheap it is local it is unhealthy and unwise so this is it can you see how beautiful the color is this is very beautiful and this is my initial hair color and this is the end result it actually looks really really good hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel or if you're an og you're most welcome so going by the title of this video you already know what this video is all about so let's just jump right into the main video before we jump right into this video please do your girl a favor and hit that subscribe button down below also hit the notification bell so you'll know whenever i upload a new video and also like this video thank you so, once upon a time in my life i did color my hair using detergent and hydrogen peroxide yes i did that i didn't know any better i actually got the idea from my older sister she did it it worked it looked really good on her and then i decided to do it too then i didn't really know much about natural hair i wasn't even into youtube at all i was just exploring you know with my hair i was just playing around with my hair i just wanted to have some color i just wanted to look cute so i just um i jumped right into it when she told me what she used and it was detergent and hydrogen peroxide this is really cheap it's um so on uh unhealthy for your hair but yeah i did it up uh, i am going to talk about um hydrogen peroxide let me just read a little from what i wrote like what hydrogen peroxide is all about so they said hydrogen peroxide is used as an oxidizer a bleaching agent and also an antiseptic so it is a mild antiseptic used to prevent infection of minor cuts scrapes and bones it can also be used as a mouth rinse to remove mucus or relieve minor mouth um, irritation even if you're going to use um, hydrogen peroxide as a mouth rinse you're advised to dilute your um, hydrogen peroxide with uh, the same amount of water to dilute it so it won't be too harsh you know in your mouth so yeah imagine adding that to your hair i know and then the detergent i used laundry detergent as you guys can see uh detergent has so many chemicals like it is made up of so many chemicals like citric acid amine oxide cyclodextrin ethanol carbonate hydrogen peroxide and many more guys i can't even list them but yeah this is actually very very harsh if you ask me detergent is actually very very harsh and i applied it to the truth hair. is i don't really know much about science i'm not really um i don't really understand the mechanism behind all of this but all i know is that it worked for me so i am going to try to recreate everything i did i'm going to show you guys how i did it i'm also going to insert pictures of my hair how um i colored my hair i'm going to put the picture for you guys to see and then i'll try to recreate everything i did so you guys will see everything i did
can you see how beautiful the color is this is very beautiful and this is my initial hair color and this is the end result it actually looks really really good but the effect after this trust me you don't want to go through it so guys don't do it seriously don't do it it looks good but don't do it if you want to do it do it the right way don't go cheap like i did so yeah like i told you guys i also tried it on my synthetic hair but i didn't really see much um effect there's no much effect so i guess it's not going to work on this but yeah it actually works it worked on my hair i've tried it i've done it i'm never going to do it again if i'm going to color my hair i'll have to do it the right way but yeah if you want to color your hair the cheap way then get detergent and hydrogen peroxide but like i said guys don't do it it's actually very cheap it's very harsh it's going to affect your hair later so don't do it but yeah this is the result like i said i used detergent the detergent i actually used was um omo but i couldn't find omo where i went to get the detergent so i decided to try out clean i believe it's going to be about the same thing so i decided to get clean and then um the hydrogen peroxide i actually did color my hair twice because the first time i felt it didn't really color my hair the way i wanted it to uh be so i did it again and yeah it was much another better. thing is the longer you allow it to stay in the mix the more color you're going to get so i think the mistake i made the first time was that i didn't allow it um stay for long so that was why it didn't give me that much tint as i wanted so i had to reapply so like i showed you guys i allowed mine to stay for close to two hours and this was the result i got I also tried it on a synthetic you know hair to see if it's going to color my um, synthetic hair but uh, I actually didn't see any um, change so I guess this uh, mix will only work on natural hair I don't know like I said I don't really understand science I'm not like I don't really understand the science part of this whole um, mix but all I know is it worked on my natural hair it colored my hair and the longer it stays the more um, color or the more tint you're going to get the effect of everything I did gosh my hair was so dry my hair dried up my hair started breaking like it was looking good initially it was looking like yeah the color was there but the truth is it messed up my hair it actually damaged my hair uh, my hair started breaking my hair started um i don't know it wasn't looking good it, it was looking very dry and at some point i decided to just you know trim off everything so i was trimming off my hair gradually like maybe if, um anytime i take down my hair i will trim the ends a little like that was what i kept doing uh i actually did the coloring in 2018 i think or towards uh, the ending of 2017 to like 2018 yeah i think that's about the time I, I colored my hair so i started trimming my hair gradually because i didn't like the color i didn't like how my hair was looking um and yeah you know i've been natural for about six years plus now almost seven years so my hair might not really look long for seven years yeah but the truth is i, I decided to trim off the colored parts like i trimmed the entire uh, colored part if you look at my hair now you're actually not going to see any uh, colored parts that's because i decided to trim off my hair like gradually i didn't uh go for big chop i was just trimming my hair gradually and yeah that was how i was able to get rid of the color i wouldn't advise anybody to use detergent or hydrogen peroxide to color your hair if you want to color your hair just do it the right way don't 
go cheap like i did so yeah do it the right way that way you will have um you will know what you're actually putting in your hair and you'll be able to manage your hair properly i hope you guys um learned from my mistake uh because i don't think i'll ever repeat this again so, i'm actually yeah. trying out a challenge where i um, intend to leave uh, my hair for three months i intend to leave these braids on my hair for three months in between i am going to wash and care for my hair i am going to be applying uh, my diys to my hair i have hair sprays i have butters i have oils i'm going to be applying i'm going to be using my diy black rice oil i'm going to be using my cooler nut oil i'm also going to be using my milk um coconut milk hydrating spray i am going to be using um I actually have so many diys i am going to be applying most of them to my hair while i while i allow my hair sit um in this um braids for three months hopefully i can make it up to three months i hope so but yeah that's actually my plan that's it on this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys learned um one or two from this video um yeah like i always say i have so many videos for you guys i have uh, a video showing you guys how i make my own protein treatment how i make a high cholesterol treatment how i make my hydrating and um, hairspray i have the one with coconut um, milk hydrating hairspray i have so many guys i have um different uh oils i have my black rice oil i have normal red rice i have so many videos you guys should please go check it out because that is how i earn a living i earn a living from youtube youtube is one of the ways i earn a living so please you guys should go check it out don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you know when i upload a new video and guys please do me a favor and watch uh, the ads i have on youtube because that is how i'm going to make uh, money so do your girl a favor and watch all the ads if you can but yeah just help me you know by watching the ads on my youtube channel i hope channel. you guys enjoyed this video i actually didn't want to make it long i wanted to make it short and brief thank you so much uh until next time please don't forget to stay safe see you in my next video bye